Welcome to the free Super Tips Premier League Tipping Challenge and look who we've got with us this week, none other than ex-Arsenal and England legend, Ray Parler. How are you doing, Dean? Yeah, good, to this. Yep. So we're going to cover the five big games this weekend and we're going yep. to get cracking with Tottenham v Liverpool. Right, Spurs went from one extreme to another last week, didn't they? Started off brilliant win at Man United and then a week later, one up against Watford and lose. Mm. Typical Tottenham in some ways. But they've got attacking talent all over the pitch. Liverpool, they've got off to a perfect start. Four wins out of four, top of the table. We see goals in this match. The two games last year ended 2-2 and 4-1. Right, So we're going for 2 all if you fancy a bit of value in the correct score market. Mm. But our main bet would be over three and a half goals. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm looking at this game and uh, it's whether Spurs can bounce back. That's the most important thing. You know, after a really poor uh, result against Watford, credit to Watford, they were superb on that, especially in that second half. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool, as you rightly said, one mistake from Alisson, um, you know, but they still won the game against Leicester. Yeah. So they're in great form. They're the ones who are going to be pushing Man City to right to the end, I should imagine. I've gone for a draw as well. I've gone for, I think there might be a few go uh, goals. Yeah. I've gone both teams to score with a draw. On to Watford versus Manchester United. Now, if you remember, before the Manchester United-Burnley game, we said about how lucky United were to come up with that fixture. Burnley had already played nine matches in a short space of time because of the Europa League, had a few injuries, and we thought that was the perfect game for Jose to get the team back on track. We think, though, United might be a bit flattered by that win. Watford was so good against Tottenham. Their team performance, working for each other. Now, last year as well, against the top six sides at home, they won two, drew two, lost two. Already beaten Tottenham this year. Mm. We think we've got to go for a bit of value here. Watford are around 3-100-30 to 100 to 30 for this match. That's got to be our selection, and we're going to go for a 2-1 win. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a very important game. They, they beat Burnley, Manchester United. They went there, clean sheet as well, which Jose would be uh, delighted with. We've seen when they went to Brighton, mm. conceded three goals. So, Watford, yeah, they've been surprise package of the, the season so far. Troy Deeney's lost a little bit of weight. He's, you know, he's been mm. brilliant up front for them. The midfield are very strong, Decore, Capoue. So, it's going to be a tough game for Manchester United. But I just think that, that win against Burnley is going to spur them on. And they need to bounce back again and, and get another three points. So, I'm going to go for Manchester United. Um, but I'm also going to go for both teams to score. Because it's a situation where Watford, they've got goal, goals in them. They scored yeah. two against Tottenham. So, my... Tip is United to win, but both teams to score. On to Wolves versus Burnley. Now, we've been very impressed with Wolves so far. They really knock it about well in midfield. They've got some great players in there. Burnley, we think they might start to get back on track soon. You know, I think the international break will have done Sean Dyche good, get some of his players back to fitness. They've had such a tough start. Mm. But for us, Wolves are going to win this game. It might be low scoring. They might have to be patient. We're going to go for a 1-0 win to Wolves. Well, certainly uh, Burnley have had a, an awful start. As you rightly said, they've played lots of football. Uh, the Europa League has really affected them uh, mm. with the squad. They haven't got a big, big squad like uh, some other teams. But I think Wolves are going to, you know, I really fancied them to be in the top 10 this season mm. when they come up. They've got good players. Uh, they've just bought Troari from Middlesbrough, who got the goal last week against Bournemouth. So he's going to be a very important player you can bring off the bench. I'm with you a little bit on this one because I don't think there'll be many goals. I think Burnley, Sean Dice will go there, try and... Mm. Shut up shop, and, and a point that might be a good point for Burnley. So uh, I've gone for under two and a half goals in this, this game. On to Everton versus West Ham. Now, Everton have got off to a fairly solid start. Wasn't as impressive last time against mm. Huddersfield, struggled for the draw. But we've got a lot of time for Marco Silva at three super tits. We think he's a very, very good manager. West Ham, what a start. They've got off to four defeats on the run. All going wrong for them. Yeah. We think that Everton will bounce back, bounce back here from that disappointing draw, register a win, something in the region of a 2-1. And if they're around about evens, 10 to 11, we think that's actually a good price. At last year, they played the 12 teams they played that finished below them at home. They won 10 of those fixtures. Mm. So for us, Everton looked quite solid at home. It's an Everton win for us. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will be looking at Everton to get all three points. Disappointing last, last game against Huddersfield. Uh, West Ham have had an awful start, but I watched them against Arsenal at the Emirates and um, they did have a lot of chances. They mm. had a real good opportunities to score uh, against Arsenal. The defence was a little bit all over the place for, for Arsenal's point of view. So West Ham, they just got to try and convert a few chances. You expect Everton uh, being at home to be big favourites to win the game. 
Uh, but I'm going to stick with the goals. I'm going to go over two and a half goals. I think if West Ham can take a few of their chances, yeah. and I expect Everton to score as well. So over two and a half goals is a decent bet for me. Finally, Monday night football, and it's Southampton versus Brighton. Now, Brighton really poor away from home. They lost 12 matches away from home last season. They've lost their opening two away fixtures this season. They struggled to score away from home as well. 63% of their away matches last year, they didn't score. They've not scored this year away from home. Southampton got off to a fairly steady start, I'd say. They were slightly unlucky against Leicester with a sending off. Bounce back against Palace, quite, you know, quite impressive in that game away from home. I was at the Carabao Cup fixture between these two sides where Southampton won 1-0 and we're going for a repeat. Same scoreline, Southampton 1-0. And to be honest with you, if you can get around even money, we think that's fair value. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I was at the Southampton v uh, Palace game at Sellers Park and they did play well. Uh, mm. Danny Ings up front, Shane Long played. You've got Charlie Austin also can come off the bench. So you, they've got options uh, up front. Midfield are pretty strong as well. Uh, Alex McCarthy had a good, good game in goal as well. So, mm. you know, that, that was a big result for them. Mark Hughes would be looking at it and saying, well, just before the international break, we've got that win on the, mm. on the cards. But Brighton... You know, they had that brilliant win against Manchester United. I know it was at home and their away uh, record is pretty poor. But I just think that Chris Hewton will go there, be hard to beat. Um, so I've, I've got a sneaky feeling Brighton could get a draw at least. And that's why I've gone for goal handicap, Brighton plus one. Well, hope you've enjoyed our Premier League tipping challenge. Thanks to you, Ray, Cheers, for joining Dean. us this really week. Really enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and obviously enjoy your Premier League weekend. Thank uh you. -huh.